what's going on guys and welcome to another sports card collection video today i'm going to give you an update on the storage unit with the million card collection here we go as you can see there is still so much to have to go through and this goes all the way back all the way down to the floor all the way above down to the floor that entire stack there goes all the way into the corner comes around to this side down to the floor all the way up to the wall and all the way down to the floor there so originally i know i said i was going to get rid of these but I decided to keep them in here because they helped me organize some of the uh, the smaller stuff that was inside the boxes. So uh, tons of magazines, different kinds of magazines, some binder pages, different toys and collectibles. And just like a ton, a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff all the way down. Some toys bobbleheads this is completely full that one is completely full these bins right here are full too completely full of unsearched unsearched well those are newspapers but a lot of these are completely unsearched some toys in here cards here cards here cards here these are filled with binders completely this box was crazy to get in and out of the car um all these these bins all filled with either cards or uh, different kind of collectibles and memorabilia but as you guys can see this is all unsearched everything here is unsearched the only way it gets searched is to leave this storage unit these are all completely full. Memorabilia. We got pennants. Just oh, these are McDonald's toys. Some McDonald's toys there. Some more autographs, memorabilia. Just tons and tons and tons of stuff here. So I'm gonna pick out some stuff and I'm going to bring it with me home to uh to go through because i'm almost done going through all the stuff that i have at the house so uh time to start unloading some of this and uh seeing what kind of treasures i can find and i believe there is going to be many treasures to find in here so all right let's cut to the house all right here we go we are back at the house and as you can see there's a lot of sorting a lot of organizing going on here uh i'm currently going through this box right here which is uh mostly 1980 and 1981 tops uh this entire row this entire row was 1980 over here is my sorting madness 500 600 700 double digits uh 100 200 300 400 so i separate by the hundreds and then from there i s start to sort it and organize it trying to see uh, if i can complete a set or if i can complete multiple sets of uh 1980 and 1981 uh tops which it could definitely considering this is a 5,000 count box uh could be possible over here i got some of my star player piles there's a jim brown over there star player pile star player hall of fame piles just uh, some of my madness of my organizing but uh let's get into what i found today out of the one million card collection uh it is mostly old Old school football and old school baseball, a lot of vintage. Uh, we're going to kick it off with some football. Right here on top, we got Peyton and Eli's father, Archie Manning. And we got Dan Marino. Here's a nice John Elway. I always thought that this Favre card was really funny. Uh, I just get a kick out of this card whenever I find it. Very funny card. Uh, right here is a Barry Sanders. Rushing leaders. And we have a Deion Sanders rookie. 
And we're kicking it off with some Walter Payton cards. There's a Walter Payton record breaker. Here's a Walter Payton. This one is a 86. Here's a 1981 Walter Payton. Team leaders. And then a 1980 Walter Payton. Team leaders. And last but definitely not least, I always love to find this card. Here's a Warren Moon when he played in the CFL. This one's in very good condition. Always fun to find this card. 1991 Warren Moon in the CFL. All right, there's the football. Now let's move on to the baseball. Right here on top, here's a hollow foil Hank Aaron. Very cool. Hopefully you guys can see that. The way it... It's actually in pretty good shape. You know, these cards tend to not really age well. Underneath there, we got Johnny Mize. This is... Uh, I want to say... Card from the 40s, I would say. Underneath there, Ricky Henderson. Then we have a nice, it's a great condition, Cal Ripken Jr. Here's a Willie Randolph, rookie. So Brooks Robinson. Very nice card. 19, I want to say 1975, right? 1975, Brooke Robinson. Here's a 1970 Vita Blue, rookie. Here's a Carl Yastrzemski. This is a 1981, which is the set that's right underneath here. Whitey Herzog. Look how old school this card is. This looks like to be a card from the 50s, maybe 56. Underneath we have some Nolan Ryans. Here's a Nolan Ryan 81. Underneath there, we got another Nolan Ryan AL All-Star. Nolan Ryan 74 Highlights. 1977 Strikeout Leaders, Nolan Ryan and Phil Nicro. Here is a Classic Best, Ken Griffey Jr. Don't really find that Griffey. That's why I put it in here. Here is a Bowman Rookie Griffey. Very nice condition. Here is a, I believe this is a 1972 Joe Torrey. Very nice condition, just a little bit off-centered. This one's a little bit more beat up, but same card. Here is a, let me see, 19, I want to say 1964 Joe Torrey. Look at him now, look how young he is there. Wow. It's crazy and then right here we have a 1976 Milwaukee Brewers card which has the infamous Hank Aaron and last but not least you probably guys caught a glimpse of it right there you see Hank Aaron right there on the top there he is the big find of the day 1975 Hank Aaron. Look at that bad boy. Very good condition. Beautiful. So that's the finds for today. I'm glad I was able to bring you guys into the storage unit to uh, to give you guys a little bit of an update on what I got going on in there. But uh, today was definitely a vintage kind of day, an old school baseball, old school football kind of day. I'm very happy with it. I have a lot of work to do, as you can see right here, organizing this. I'll let you guys know whether or not I complete that set. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you smash that like button. It really helps out. Uh, leave a comment below. What do you think? Today was a good, good pulls. You know, I feel like I'm pretty excited about this Hank Aaron. Pretty excited about this Joe Torre. This Joe Torre is pretty fun. Uh, growing up, I was a Yankees fan, so he was the he was the manager. So. 
very excited about the cards I found. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel. More videos to come, more regular, uh, regular scheduled videos. I know I was off for a while, but uh, I'm back. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to share you, share with you guys. Hopefully, you guys are hunting down collections for yourselves. Finding it's garage sale season, so get out into those garage sales. You might find something lucky. So thank you guys for watching again, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.